So Caleb, why did you want to get baptized? Because I thought it would be great to like restart and uh, try again. This morning is such a special morning. We have a bunch of our family and friends together. Caleb has chosen to be baptized and he's getting baptized in the Caribbean Ocean and we're excited to celebrate with him. You know, in life, there's sometimes a lot of decisions we make. Some of them aren't super important. Like, what kind of cereal am I gonna have this morning? Or what kind of cereal? Janae wants to hold it. She is braver than I am. Oh, you got it? She's like, stay on there, hermit crab. Let's what should see. we name Can it? Can you see him? What's the name of it? Guana. Guana? Yeah. We named the hermit crab a guana. So, Caleb, why did you want to get baptized? Because I thought it would be great to like restart and uh, try again. And I also want to. Um, follow Jesus' example. That was another reason I wanted to be baptized because he got baptized and um, how he always loved everybody. So what was it like being baptized in the ocean? A little cold, but other than that, I thought it was pretty cool. Since all my grandparents were here, I felt very loved because they flew all the way out here to Puerto Rico just so that I, just to watch me get baptized and be with me. Well, the baptism was beautiful. It was just a great experience. So now we are coming home and laying low for the rest of the day. We have no plans except for hang out with grandparents and have fun. So we got a new family game that Isaac is enjoying with his grandparents. It's called Ticket to Ride. Who's winning? We don't know yet. You right now have six trains and then my other one I didn't do either. I think he has some strategy going yeah. on. You're gonna make it a cabin? Yeah, I'm, I'm mixing the colors so it's beautiful. beautiful. You're mixing your colors? That's fancy. Elise is working on her clay. <gasps> it's so cute! It's a grand crack. Caleb has been focused. He's making some major progress on this. So Papa makes what we call Papa sandwiches. It's peanut butter and a smorgasbord of whatever. You've done pickles, he's doing tomatoes and cucumbers and pineapple, and Elise is wanting to try it. What are you gonna put on your sandwich? I'm gonna put pineapple, cucumbers, and cheese. Cheese. <laughs> She's breaking the mold. <laughs> and maybe some... A blueberry. <laughs> and a blueberry. And popcorn. Popcorn for the texture. Yeah. Enjoy your papa sandwich. Elise is going for it. Right, it's perfect. Popcorn and blueberry. How, do I, how is it? Does it work? <laughs> is it weird? I didn't get into the actual taste. I only got some popcorn. Oh. Okay. Popcorn and peanut butter is not bad. Yeah, peanut butter. Ready? I'm gonna get some pineapple and cucumber. <laughs> Mom, this is awesome. I can't believe finished. you finished it already. No. Oh, if you've seen Harry Potter, look at the uh, the egg sitting by the fire. And it lights up, doesn't egg. it? Doesn't it light up? That's super cool. Okay, I think my favorite though is the people. Like Hagrid. He looks like Hagrid. I love the details of these, these kinds of things. things. Yeah, they do. That's yeah. definitely fondant. So fondant. If it's what I There's thought. a lemon. These are small cakes too. So Kendra found a video and okay, she came to share eating. it with all of us. Look! Can you see it? It's, it's cakes that, that look so like good. real things. Look at that. So at least you're making a beaded bracelet. Okay. We're gonna try. Like this square. So you're just turning it. Yeah, turning it that way. You're getting the hang of this. 
Papa and Isaac have invented a game. Oh, first try! Oh, it's kind of like a cornhole. My dad has a gift. He can make a game out of everything, even if there's just a dirty sock and a tile floor. So there's North America and South America. Can you show me where you live? Oh, I got it. Puerto Rico. We learned about the continents. How many of them are there? And we learned the names and where they are. Africa. Yes. What is in Africa? Uh, there's giraffes. Yeah, giraffes. Lions, jaguars. Yeah, and zebras. And zebras. so beautiful. Show me where Australia is. That one. This one. This that's one's what, Australia. That's what I was pointing to. Great job. You did awesome. What lives in Australia? There's a lot of eat stuff, but there's a lot of fires happening. There has been a bunch of fires. So what are the cute things that live in Australia? Kangaroos. 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 I showed Laura pictures of kangaroos I and koala bears. Kangaroos. When she saw the koala bears, she said, that's so cute, it's not real, it's a stuffed animal. I'm like, no, koala bears are really just that cute. Where is Asia? Aki! There it is, up there's Asia. Now where's North America? Aki! There you go, North America, where's South America? Very nice. Where's Europe? Uh, Aki. Wonderful. And where's Antarctica? Aki. At the bottom. What lives in Antarctica? Penguins. Penguins. Bengua. I got my shoes on. She got her shoes on. Are you ready? Yeah. Are we going to go to the park? Yeah. Yes. Isaac and Papa are playing tennis, and Jeremy and his dad are back there playing pickleball. <laughs> Did you win? Poppy Rod won. Jeremy's gonna be begging for a rematch. Oh yeah. She has an idea. She's off somewhere. Wait, Janae, the park's this way. She just wants to walk on the hills. You're climbing? Yeah, I'm climbing it. You are, you are strong. Good job, keep practicing. Ready, set. Earlier today, Laura was just having a rough time. She was feeling a little grumpy. I don't know if she was bored, tired, who knows what. But I was holding her and we were talking and all of a sudden I looked up at the map and I just decided to start teaching her about it. And it was interesting because it brought a new way for us to engage and play together and it kind of lifted both of our moods and we had so much fun learning together. I think we forget what a great distractor learning can be. When kids are grumpy, teach them something new. Give them a new responsibility. Help them grow and progress and so often that helps all of us in life. I think that's true for kids and adults. Janae, you're doing awesome. I am. You are. You're doing a great job. Look at those feet. Moving forward with confidence. Super nay nay. Oh, this is getting big. It's okay, keep going. Keep going. So you guys are playing football in a basketball court? You know, yes. So they're playing three on three football in the basketball courts because it's nice and shady. That looked like a really good game. It was. I scored a couple touchdowns. You did go. Was it fun to play with your grandpas and your dad? Yes. But they crushed us. Uh oh. I brought my new toy boat. Yes. What? Is it working? Mommy! Here's the boat cruising around. It's going through the waves with her doing a Titanic. For it, a Titanic. Woo! Made it back all the way to the edge. What do you think? Whoa. Go? go the other way. Go the other way. Get set. Go! So we had dinner and now we're playing categories. So what's great about this game is that you're into five different teams. We have five adults and five kids, so we're rotating which kid is with each adult, and it's working out really well.
think I'm here filming, but I'm really here spying. <laughs> Janae's on my team right now. She's a little more interested in Legos. Janae, do you want to help me? I'm, I'm making this better. Oh, you're busy? Good one. Number 11, types of drinks. Oh, yeah. oh, we were going to be right yeah. there. Ginger ale! Good one. Gatorade. I got Gatorade too. We did grape soda. We did too much oh. to Lisa's coming. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Jeremy and Laura demolished us. All right, let's do it. Good night. Get us out. Once hard. <laughs> Did you just drop an entire egg? <laughs> It's a thing. I think we got it. All right, swim team, here she comes.